do my hair. What kind of hairstyle do you want to do? Um, a ponytail. A ponytail? Mm -hmm. Do you like getting your hair combed? Like this brush. I think it's for my hair. What is that? That's for my hair. It's gonna open it. So I started off by washing her hair. Her hair is freshly washed and conditioned. Her hair is getting so long now. If you guys watched the previous hair tutorials that I've done for her, her hair has gotten a lot longer since then. So that is why I wanted to try kind of a different hairstyle today. So her hair is still damp and it is mostly detangled from um, washing it, but I'm gonna spray it down a little bit more. just to make sure that it's still fully damp. And the first product that I'm going to use is this Cantu Kids Leave-In Conditioner. <laughs> We're gonna use that one a little bit later, okay? It's just like a creamy um, leave-in conditioner just to help detangle and everything and moisturize. Just get a little bit, okay? And you can put some on your hair. And I'm just going to gently brush through just to make everything. Uh. Just to make sure everything is detangled. Hmm? Not for eating. Not for eating? No, the comb is not for eating. Mm -hmm. like this. Something's down there right there. Something's still on the floor. Hmm? Something's still on the floor. What's on the floor? Um, my makeup. Your makeup? Mm hmm That's mommy's makeup. Oh, yeah, that's mommy's makeup. Mm-hmm. Ah! Is it hard work getting your hair combed? Yeah. Oh, I also wanted to tell you guys about this comb that I discovered. I got these at Walmart. It came in a pack of two and they have like this little handle right here and they're like meant to be used wet and so it gives you like a good grip so it doesn't slip in the shower when you're like using it with conditioner and it actually really comes in handy. It's called the Gimme Comb. The next product I'm gonna use is this Camille Rose Curl Maker. It is a curling jelly to help define and hold the curls and I'm kind of just using it as like a a product to kind of help slick her hair back and hold everything in place. And now to actually get into the hairstyle, the first thing we're going to have to do is part off her hair. So this is going to basically be like a two, two bun type of hairstyle but it's going to have an extra section in the front. So I'm going to start by parting her hair just all the way down the middle. My parts are never completely centered or straight, but that's okay. We're just going to make it work. It's too dark right here. It's too dark? That's because you're covering your eyes. So now her hair is just parted all the way down the back like so. And then I'm going to part going this way, an extra section in the front. I'm going to create a part going horizontally. So it looks like that. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a little hair tie and tie back this back section and leave this front part loose. And then I'm going to mirror the part on the other side. So this is what the part looks like on this side, same thing. And again, I'm just gonna tie back the back part to keep it out of the way for now. So now with these two front sections, I'm going to slip them up into little ponytails right here and then I'm gonna braid the rest. I'm gonna use this type of brush to smooth everything. I'm gonna leave these little curls out down here by her ear and then I'm just gonna tie this up making sure it's nice and smooth. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Leave out a little curl. Use the red. Use the red. Okay, hold on. Let me brush it first. Okay, can I have the thing now? Thank you. So now we have these two little ponytails, and I'm actually going to braid these. What are you doing, mommy? I'm braiding your hair. You don't normally have braids, but your hair is getting long enough now to do little braids. That's not my career, mommy. I'm not going to put a rubber band on the end because they're going to end up being tied into another thing, so I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> So just like the last hair tutorial video that I did on Zaya, this hairstyle can kind of be transformed and worn in multiple different ways. So you can actually wear it just with the um, little braids hanging down in front like this. But I'm actually gonna be doing a little crisscross design like this. We're gonna be putting the pigtail buns up on the top of her head so we need to smooth everything into place. And I'm just going to tie it into place with a little rubber band. 
Then I'm going to take the little braid from the opposite side and crisscross it over and add it to this ponytail and use another rubber band to attach that and just repeat the same process on the other side. Zaya, are you excited for Christmas? You want to go see Santa? We go to see Santa. And I'm trying to cry. What does Santa do? Uh, he coming at our house. You coming to our house? Uh -huh. And what does he bring? Presents. Presents. I still want to comb my hair first. <laughs> yeah, we gotta comb your hair first. It's Christmas time. Yeah. What do you want for Christmas? What toys do you want? Uh, Barbie toy. A Barbie toy? Yeah. At the Target. At Target? Mm -hmm. We go to Target. Santa has to go to Target to get it for you. And what else? Um, a Barbie camper. A Barbie what? A Barbie camper. A Barbie camper? Wow. A Barbie camper and a Barbie doll. And a Barbie doll? Mm -hmm. So I'm just brushing out her curls to show you again just like another alternative little detail of this hairstyle, different way that you can wear it. So you can just wear it with the curls Mom, popping. I have to say Merry Christmas. You have to say Merry Christmas? Okay, say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Look that way and say it. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so this is one way that she can wear it just with the curls out curls popping like that that's really cute and it's gonna like floof up even more when it dries so this is really cute but I wanted to try something new something that I have not tried on Zaya yet and that is the sock bun method so I have two black socks here and the way that you can make your own little DIY sock buns if you haven't heard about this already although this is a very old trick so most of you guys probably already know you just take a sock and you cut the toe off like this so that way it can be open on both sides and then you just roll the sock into a little donut. You just flip it, flip it, flip it. And it kind of makes like a little donut scrunchy thing. Then you can use this to add volume and create like a little donut shape with the hair. So all you have to do is kind of just use it as a scrunchie and put it around the ponytail. And then I got a black sock so that it would help blend in with her hair. You don't want to use a white sock because you might see it underneath. Then I'm just going to spread and smooth her hair around it like that. And I'm just going to use a rubber band to secure everything in place. So you just kind of hold it in place like this and put the rubber band around the whole thing. And since she has curly hair, I kind of like it with her little curls like showing around the edges. You can smooth them around and like tuck them underneath if you don't want the ends showing. But I kind of like it with a little bit of texture like that. Almost done, Zaya. Perfect, perfect. It's hard work, I know. And just to make this extra Christmassy, I wanted to add some of these Christmas bows that I had left over from our Christmas DIY. And these are actually just Christmas decorations and we use them for our ugly sweaters, but they're really festive and I think it's cute to use little things like this in the hair for the holidays. You don't always have to stick to the hair aisle, you can get creative with your hair accessories. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love you. So to secure these on, I'm just going to take a bobby pin and put it through the middle of the bow like this. And then I'm just going to put the bobby pin through her hair like that. Finishing touches, I'm just going to fix her little baby hairs right here. And this is the finished look. You want to take a picture of it now? Uh. Okay. On the phone. On the phone? Mm-hmm. On mommy's phone.
Why am I on the phone?